Edie, how are you feeling right now? What are you feeling? That it's really difficult to be around people because they just want me to be better. So you're not able to share what you're feeling with other people? It's pretty country, ain't it? Tribal lands. It's not a good idea to be out here without a vehicle. I'll be fine. You said your family was from the city. So yes, I'm I'm curious. Well, which was more difficult for you, you know, sort of directing this in, in the elements or uh, keeping that mental angst that you had to go through through the whole thing? It was definitely challenging shooting because we were we were living the movie we were shooting. And one of the producers and I chose to stay in our trailers up on um, the top of the mountain at base camp instead of driving back to the city every day and to, to live while shooting in nature like that is very healing and you just, you feel more grounded um, where you're always in it in answer to your question. It's like you're never departing and going back to hearing cars and honking horns and trains and mayhem. You're in that Zen place, hearing the birds and the wind 24 seven. So it, it was definitely beneficial for us to stay up there on that mountain while we where shot. Were, where did you shoot? We shot in Alberta, Canada. Ah. Gorgeous, gorgeous country. Wow. But but did it also help you, you know, stay centered in that character, uh, you know, in her in her personal space? Did that help you being in, in that environment? Very much so. And just to experience the quiet, I, I think was, I think the key to, to, to be able to maintain because yeah, wearing both hats, you're directing, you're just, I had to have an incredible team as my backbone. And I did, I had three female producers on set all day, every day, watching playback and being my co-director when I was in front of the camera. So I could not have done it without them. And what, and what was it about this particular story that, that made you decide you wanted to go behind the camera? I loved its message, its positive message, because there was so much ugliness going on in the world and the random shootings that were happening and the four years that we had to endure the last four years. <laughs> um, just the bullying and the meanness and and you know, advocating for that. People just were encouraging it. And I just thought, I want to make something about human kindness and resilience and newfound hope. Because I feel like people wanted it. We do. I mean, <laughs> we need it. We need it big time. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm watching the movie and I'm, and I'm feeling for you and I'm like, oh God. But at the same time, it does give you that sense of what it would be like to go off the grid, you know? Um, and it's, it is a pretty powerful feeling to do that sometimes. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And how healing, how healing nature can be when you're struggling and trying to find a new way out of the adversity that you're facing. Yeah. And it generally happens with the kindness and compassion and empathy of another human being, which is Miguel in this movie. I just loved that character and what he stood for. And he rescued this woman's heart. Yeah, because sometimes, yeah, it's good to be by yourself, but sometimes it's also good to have that person, you know, or something, some kind of- Absolutely. Well, we need it, each other. We do, we do. How did you find me? You were in my path. You know, one might wonder how someone like you came to be in this place. I'm not running from anyone. I'm not hiding. I'm here because 
you choose to be. If it's all right, I will teach you how to trap, and the fall to hunt, and then you won't see me anymore. Can we agree that you not bring any news of life elsewhere? What if aliens land here? Don't tell me about your family. Have you thought about what you want your life to be now?